Hey, yo, peace, family. This is Lord Jamal for the Anatomy and Godcast. And if you watch the Godcast, you know my number one sponsor is Miracle Food. That's right, Miracle Food, the perfect cleanse and reboot for a healthy immune system. And in these times, you know a healthy immune system is very important. It's also anti-inflammatory. Miracle Food has moringa, uh, black seed oil, beetroot oil. It also contains CBD. Miracle Food is just what it says. Miracle Food. Brought to you by my brother, the Chakra Doctor. So this is a Black-owned company, y'all. We promote Black-owned companies here on the Godcast. Okay, so go to ChakraDoctor.org and get your Miracle Food today. Tell them Lord Jamal sent you. Peace. www.hoodg.com Okay, we got the God Cash crew necks, hoodies, hats. If you don't know where to go, you get them. www.hoodg.com. Go get you that God Cash gear, that brand new being gear. We got Rod Digger gear, all of that. Go to www.hoodg.com. www.hoodg.com. Turn the neighborhood into the Bay of Pigs Kidnapped the fathers and enslaved the kids Now they poisoned in the water that they gave the kids He ran from the cops so they sprayed his wind We gon' turn the precinct to the Bay of Pigs Saw the crib like that's the way you live Loaf of bread, bacon soda, sitting in the fridge My melanin garners hatred, it's sacred Hussein boat, I'm too swift for the races Drugs change the house structure See my uncle smoke rocks downstairs Now the attic is in the basement Welcome back to the Godcast, Lord Jamal Live Edition. Um, yeah, we bringing you uh another great one, man. This brother right here. Mm. I always love when I see clips of him speaking in other people's interviews. We got him tonight. Um, yes, Rod Digger can't make it tonight. Godfrey can't make it tonight. It's not that anything's wrong. It's just, you know, people got things to do, but you know, your boy holds shit down. Your boy holds it down. So don't worry. We good. Uh, but in case, uh, you feel gypped, you didn't get to hear the, the intro. Let's play a little bit while, while. Because the judge is about to come on. He's in the lobby. What do you mean still no sound? Peace, Dr. Ma'at. She's the one that uh, facilitated this. She plugged me in to the judge. I thank you, Queen. Okay, y'all can hear. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. And see.
All right. Now that we got the sound right, crisp and clean, no caffeine. That beat slaps, right? It does slap. That's a nice intro beat that I made, I must say. Shout out to uh, Rod Digger and um, Godfrey. My compadres. Uh, so yeah, we got my brother. I see him in the lobby. I'm just waiting till uh, he gets on his camera. Hang on, let me send him a text just to make sure. Okay. Yeah, we getting ready to do this. We got a legend. We got an elder, a wise man. And uh 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 man. A <laughs> a uh, 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 a free thinker. Uh somebody who speaks his mind and we uh definitely appreciate that here on the Godcast. Uh, listen, with no further ado, ladies and gentlemen, gods and nerfs, welcome to the Godcast, Judge Joe Brown. Judge is in the house. Peace, my brother. How are you? I'm all right. Hold on one second. Let me get something. Lean over yes, here. Sir. Get this up off the table so I don't forget it. Okay, I got it. All right. You know, we have to add aftermarket lubricants and parts to keep everything working. <laughs> now, I see you got uh, some birthday balloons in the background. Are those yeah, that was for you? a few days ago, a couple of days ago. Was that for you? Well, all right. Happy, happy birthday. <laughs> How many years we talking, Judge? Uh, try the 54, 50, well, let's say 53rd anniversary of the 21st birthday. <laughs> 53rd anniversary of the 21st birthday. Okay. <laughs> That's what oh. we got so it could happen. Got least, at least Man. in our days, we couldn't vote at 18. I'm about to be 53 in a couple months. Matter of fact, I noticed your show was started on September 14th. Uh, and that's like a few days before my birthday. I'm, I'm September 17th. I'm go. one of those Virgo guys. Okay. What's your sign? That means cancer. Cancer. There we go. Okay. Well, congratulations. What you make of it? That's right. Um, well, we we so happy to have you on board. Um, man, just recently, I guess you you went pretty viral. You had a discussion with uh Mark Lamont Hill, on which can you hear me? Yeah, Mark Lamont Hill. Um, yeah, that's the one. Where y'all was talking about oh, Cosby. That dude, that dude got punked out. He's yeah, all yeah, yeah. You ripped him a new asshole. You ripped him a new asshole. You ripped him a new asshole. He was trying well, to go. Yeah, it wasn't very hard. He was trying to ambush me, and he had another two-toed tactic he was trying to do. Facts, facts. What he was doing is I kept telling him, I said, man, your audio is not coming through. Well, it must be on your end. I said, I've done this thousands of times, and this is the only time I've had a problem with it. So mm. it's got to be from your end. No, it's got to be you. I said, and the other thing is, is I'm looking at it on two devices and you got a 10 second delay in here. Mm. 
So why don't you quit bonking out and put it on the same time? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, because we were watching it and he was trying to to, uh, you know, come with this company line about Bill Cosby and, you know, well, forget the fact that he was let go. Let's talk about, you know, is he morally guilty and all that type of shit? And, 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 and dumb shit. Yeah, he was. American law says that a uh, defendant is presumed innocent until he is proven guilty. Speak on it, Judge. Beyond a reasonable doubt. And in a lot of states, they add to a moral certainty. For the state of Tennessee, 25 years worth of charges to the jury, I wrote them uh, on reasonable doubt. And I know what it means. I've tried federal cases. I don't think he's even read a social studies book, let alone a political science book. And he was up there upset because some bitch emotionalism did not prevail and destroy justice. See, mm. he's off in that white feminist stuff. They hate men. They hate black men particularly. They think black men aren't worth a damn and should be put in jail because something's wrong with us for trying to be masculine. That's what they, they have bad with. ethics, and he wants young black brothers to go along with this poison because I guess he wants, what shall we say, to put a synthetic something up the aperture that he has in his body that will take such things or one mm. of the two so he can feel all girled out. Mm. See, this started back in the late mid-60s. They had those who hated the fact that they weren't men those were the feminists mm -hmm. the type that hated the fact that there were men those were the feminists and then they had the type that hated it that there weren't men and you had the type that hated the idea that men were so powerful and they wanted anything else but real man. So they tried to call everything masculine toxic. And somehow or another, they got the ass back with stupid idea, which is sickness, that men should be made to girl out and not act like men. And that was best because they said men need to let it go, lose their self-control, become emotional and get all psyched out into their feelings instead of being men who were zealous about doing the right thing. And then you had the vanilla soy boys who hated the fact that they couldn't mm. act like men. So you had a bunch of people that either hated what they were or hated what they wanted to be. And they were Facts. sick puppies. Sick. sick, sick puppies. Very sick. And um, see, that doesn't work that way. See, look, it takes a lot to put in a boy's head. So the Titanic is going down. The water is freezing. It's pitch dark. And you got to say, lady, come take my seat, you and your children, and I'll go drown in the water so you and your child can survive. Take my place. See, that takes a lot of man training. And these sissies don't want to have to demonstrate that because they don't want it to be shown. They say, I think I'm a woman, so I can be treated like a woman. Hell right. no. You don't have periods. You don't have twats. You don't have those feelings. You can't make love. Uh, you I aren't have good a as women. You risk their situation. So man the hell up. And act like you got a dick and some balls and be courageous as men. Okay. Man. <laughs> I uh, mean, he's all facts. I've been looking at these it for all facts. 50 years. Yeah. Um, you know, one crazy shit that he said, and I don't want to dwell on him per se, but one crazy shit that I heard him say is if you get a woman drunk or high or, 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 or if y'all get drunk or high that if if y'all now have sex that this is a crime like what kind of crazy shit is that like don't people go out and 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 get drunk on purpose you know what, what? i mean 
this so your mama get it tell on, lady? you young ladies, if you want to keep your panties on, cut down on the drinks. And the other thing is there's got to be some personal accountability. See, they're off into this thing. It's not my fault. Right. It's my fault. I'm just a pissant jerk, and I have no moral standards, so it's not my fault. Mm. Everything's somebody else's fault, like hell. Act like a woman. Act like a man. And, you know, that's like saying it ain't my fault that I killed him because I didn't pour that drink in my glass and drink it and not have a hotel room or somebody to drive me home or a taxi or a limo. It's always somebody else's fault, not mine. Like hell, when you're a man, you're supposed to be responsible for what you're doing and what your actions cause. Not coming up with disingenuous excuses to get you away from the reality of you need to pay the tab for what you bought by your BS. Earlier you spoke about how emotionalism is basically, you know, they're, they're using emotionalism to trump the law. Like you said, you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, but it seems like it's the other way around these days yeah, it's with like, a lot of things. It wasn't my fault. Well, I wasn't, you did it, but I was emotional. But you did it, but I was emotional. Well, he admits it, take him away. Like, like, like right now, I don't know really where you stand as far as, uh, you know, getting that thing in your arm and all of that. But, you know, right now, that's a case of um, sick until proven, you know, healthy. That's which where is, the French do it. Which uh, is crazy. You're guilty until you prove yourself innocent. That doesn't work that way in America. You are innocent until they prove you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. It's their burden of proof. Matter of fact, for 25 years, Tennessee used my charge on burden of proof for their standard jury pattern instruction. Mm. And I used something, I, I didn't agree with the standard charge they were using, so I redrafted it and put that in a case, and they approved it. And, Said, and what kind Judge of changes Brown did you make? did not give the standard jury pattern instruction on reasonable doubt we think his is better than the standard charge therefore henceforth we adopt his charge and instruction as the pattern jury instruction for the state of tennessee mm. da -da -da. boom so take your little lame ignorant ass somewhere and reform your ignorant state of mind it doesn't work like that hmm big dumb bunny and then he was trying to get frisky about it. Like, okay, you wanted to get cute, didn't you? Well, I think your problem is, sir, you're trying to get entirely too cute. But for the masculine side of the species, it ain't about being cute, dude. It's about being a real man and doing what a man has got to do. Now, why don't you man the hell up and do what you need to do instead of preaching this sick poison to everybody so they can become unmanned like you you know i hear you speak a lot about manhood and being a man and how they try to take away from that um i mean what why would do you, i do it no not why I, I i know why you do it and why there's a need to do it but i think you have to simply state what what would you say is a man what are the qualities of a man to you that you feel these, uh, you know, that are lacking in people nowadays. When the, let me give it to you with no butter on it. <laughs> when, the shit hits the fan, it your, when the uh, shit hits the fan, mm. the ship high in transit, the man is supposed to be there first. When the Titanic's going down, he's supposed to say, ma'am, you and your child, take my seat in this lifeboat. I will die so that you can live. That's hard, but they too pumped out to do it. They are too off into this effeminate ideation to be able to handle the full scope of their masculine responsibilities. And you'll have men that will literally push the woman out the way. That's not a man. 
so they can get on the boat. But that's not a man. See, but man just is what they are status. It is not just because you got balls and dick. You got to be trained to use balls and dick. And if you don't know what to do with them, you don't have the backup. You are not a man. Now, Judge, I feel, I've been saying a lot of times that I feel like part of the reason they do this is for the path of least resistance. Let's just say a bunch of masculine soldiers wanted to come into the community and enforce whatever kind of will they want to enforce on the people. The ones that the men that would be there to protect the community are no longer there. Now you got a bunch of sissies who are like, ah, I don't want to, you know what I mean? I don't want to fight. I don't want to pick up a well, gun. I don't want to do nothing. There you go. A lot of people hate what they are and they hate what they want to be. So it has to be put in their thick, sissified skulls that there are masculine forms of behavior. You have to adhere to them, brother. It ain't no option. You don't get to say it. I'm on the rag, or at least I've convinced myself I am. No, it doesn't work that way. See, you can't have babies. You can't get prego. You don't go through menopause. You don't have periods. You don't have hormonal imbalances and nurse the children. You don't birth them. <laughs> Excuse me. And you don't have pain when it comes time to del deliver them. So it's almost just because insulting. you claim you want to opt out of these very grave obligations as a man, you don't get to do that. It looks like you're dodging the draft, dude. And the women, they're not equal to men. They are equal value to men, but we are not the same. Another thing I say, equal is not identical. We can be equal, but that don't mean we have to be identical. Should even as the French say, as men, Amen. even us as men, we're not identical. You're a man, I'm a man. Shit, we both got probably different blood types, all, all kind of you know what I mean. Um, but they got this thing where oh, equal means I have to be doing exactly what you're doing, and that's ridiculous. Like you're a woman. You're supposed to do women things. I'm a man. I'm supposed to do man things. And it's okay that there are women and man things. They're trying to blur the lines on everything. And it's it's crazy. It's taking away the rule of law that the universe has provided for us. You see them you saying? you life here for some billion years old. Right. It's been sexual reproduction. And now you have some people been around about 65, 70 years who want to convert everything to non-gender oriented sex. Right. They don't get that privilege. The other thing is, it's an interesting opportunity. What has happened is for the first time in the human race, we have a common race and ethnic goal of Asians. Africans, those people in the Mediterranean, those people from North and South America, people who come from modern Africa, those people who left it anciently. And we've got grave differences. <laughs> so excuse me. Yeah. Uh, it's bad when fools get to get away with what they are so they don't have to stand on the wall and deliver mm. this bad thing see what are you good for oh you can go get a fire break strap on you can play at it but you're not a man because you don't want to be a man you want to be something else, and that's doing the human race no good. And how X-rated are we here? Super X-rated. Okay. Every time you see a human, what do you see? Well, it depends on, who, you know, where your mind is. What do you see? 
I mean, these days, if if your mind is 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 in a certain frame of mind, you see nothing but a sexual. Uh, for a lot of people, it's a sexual opportunity, is what they see. No, let's get to the basics. Every time you see a viable human being, you're looking at a successful fuck. <laughs> And the way it works is you are birthed or you hatch, you grow, you mature, you court, you reproduce, you deliver babies, you birth them, hatch them, you rear them, you raise them. They grow up, they do the same thing over and over. That's what we do over and over again. That is the reproductive sex cycle. So these people that don't want to go there because of their peculiar proclivities, well, I mean, have a right not to, but they have no right to teach that sick person to the boys and girls down in the early phases of elementary school. Right. What's that about? That's cause. And another problem that you have with this is the reaction of the public to COVID-19. Mm, let's talk about that. We've got 50 years worth of effort to tear down respect for medicine and medical technology. So you can get people to buy into this illness that is preached by people who don't want to deal with the realities of human reproduction and courtship. Mm. Mm. It's like, well, buddy, I'm sorry for you. But for four billion some years, humanity has evolved along with its ancestors on this planet. Then you're way off the deep end. And Get there's nothing problem. new under the sun. Get your, that's it. So you look at dude, and he wants to slurp on the popsicle, <laughs> or he acts like it. Mm -hmm. So you're supposed to be proud. I mean, man, that's right. what I'm about. I will be ready to stand on the walls and die because that is the right thing to do. Facts. Facts. Okay. Yeah. And you can't handle that. Sixty years ago, it started off. They're what they call the soy boys now. They didn't like the fact that they were men and they had dicks and balls. The soy boys. They had to. Yeah, the soy boys. They had to stand in the liver, so they didn't want to stand in the liver. You had the lesbians who hated the fact that they weren't men and they hated men. You had the oh, no, I'm here. type that were bisexual or homosexual and they hated the fact that they couldn't be what they wanted to be and everything got real poisonous in the mix. But you see, when you do what you're supposed to do, you feel good. That's what you're supposed to do. See, people don't understand how your feelings could be manipulated. I love when these people say, well, well, since I was a child, I felt a certain way. Like, like you think these people don't have the chemicals and the science to interrupt certain messages that naturally you should be receiving. And now, like you say, the soy boy, like literally soy, soy brings about estrogen, excess estrogen in the body. So, so um, it's against the law to take masculine oriented hormones and estrogen. Oh, testosterone. Right. But you can take female estrogen if you mm. want to be a girl. That needs to be cut out. Mm. I was in a Lowe's hardware 
parking lot. A beautiful young lady about 19 said, Uncle Joe. And I was having a hard time placing this very pretty young lady. And then it dawned on me. I said, is that? I said, is your granddaddy named so-and-so? He said, yes. <laughs> I said, he told me how good you were with martial arts and you got a scholarship to college for men, for women's wrestling. I said, yes. I said, well, what happened to you? And said, they, we had to wrestle these damn folk punk boys who claimed to be girls. I said I wasn't going to do it. So wow. I got told if I didn't wrestle them, I would lose my scholarship and we would forfeit the game. So one of my teammates who didn't want to wrestle one of these sissies either, she got three ribs fractured and a broken jaw. I got my arm compound fractured. And I had to go through three operations, Uncle Joe, and it hurts so bad, I can't take the pain. And if I don't take the painkillers, I can't do my homework. And if I do my homework, I can't focus. And mm. if I can't focus, I don't do well on my grades. And I don't want to get thrown out of school because some punk bitch decided that he wanted to be a top competitor so well when all he had to do was go buy a bra and a wig. That's not cool. Mm, at all. I said I support in that. Mm, mm, mm. That's pure punk. That's so, so if the deal is well, why they have trans leagues. No. If you can't cut it based on your biological description, it's your punk ass in the stands with everybody else that can't make the varsity. You're just a loser. They're they trying. They're they trying need to, to be make... out there competing with the girl cheerleaders. They're all pretty, kicking those long, shapely legs. <laughs> that arouses that you're born or you're hatched. You court. You breed. You reproduce. You raise, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. No, they can't get away with that. They have a duty, an obligation, and they have to deal with those things in order to mount up honor. Otherwise, get the hell off the planet. You see, you can't go around half-stepping because humanity depends upon the boys and girls earning the right to call themselves men and women. Mm. Earning the right. Used to be See, something M -A -N right to w -O -M -A -N is not something you just get casually. You have to earn it. Right. You see, it shouldn't be BFN, BLM, Black Lives Matter. It should be BF matters. Black folk matter. Black families matter. Black fathers matter. Black mm. finance matters. Mm. See, we have to do the things that we need to do to maintain the yin yang balance. That. And if you don't do that, you ain't worth a damn. Now, what needs to happen is if a Titanic ever decides to go down again, you go get his tacky girlish ass and throw him on the other side of the ship with the shark so they stay over away from the women and children that are on the lifeboats. Mm. Chomp, chomp, gobble, gobble, feeding time, feeding frenzy. What are you for? Oh, he has his, no, that ain't what it's about. It's about, are you willing to sacrifice your life for the good of the me? And these people, no. No, they're not. I can't help it. No, they're not. Are you willing to do your part? <sighs> Let's talk a little bit about this uh, this administration. Let's talk about your girl. Uh, you Jackass. See, they're pushing. Look at who they're pushing. Harris. Let's let's go back a few years. Okay. Everybody got all bent out of shape because. Miss Jackson minor wardrobe foul function. 
and everybody saw a little glimpse of nipple. Right. And all these people got freaked. Janet Jackson is not a bad looking woman. But then you got Lizzo, the hip old lizard. Mm. And she's got her oil polished bare ass with a piece of dental floss between her butt cheeks that are undulating like flat. That I don't want to see. Right down on the floor of the Staples Center. And they're lauding her for shame free expression. Oh, right. hell no. She doesn't even have the excuse of being fine. That's why people go to the museums to look at fire and sculpture. And the lizard is not fine. She's got all kinds of problems, but she doesn't need to expose the young female public. It's that self motto that they try to sell. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Mm. Women have character. I love myself. I don't care. I'm still sexy. Like, well, we don't have to look at your fat ass. Like, <laughs> you ain't fine. And I don't care Facts. whether you get a complex. You ought to get your fat ass off stage and stop trying to flash us as a sex object. Another personal anecdote. Joe, would you please talk to my granddaughter? What's she doing, baby? Well, she keeps trying to eat a whole loaf of bread at one setting. Why is she doing this? So I ask her, well, Uncle Joe, I want to be beautiful like Lizzo and be fat like hers so I can be pretty. I said, Whoa. young lady, that woman is not fine. She is nowhere close to it. She looks like a macabre. Oh. Uh, this functional parody yes. of what women and beauty are about. No. She's a, she's a, she's a billboard for, for processed foods. You see, like they want to move the line of beauty into an unhealthy realm so that they can continue selling their bullshit to you and, 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 and having you, you know, dying of cancer and being obese and having tumors and all kind of crazy shit. Can um, I get to the chase? Go ahead. Come on in. Cousin. If humans hadn't had a standard of beauty for a long, long period of time, we'd all still be looking like chimpanzees, baboons, and uh, Australopithecines and step like humans. <sighs> See? Me, I, I, you know, I have a problem. I'm sorry. Evolutionary. Uh, Every scoring. brother does not look like Shaq. Every brother doesn't look like Denzel. Right. You know what I'm saying? So some of us, we have to be smart to make up for the last lack of athleticism and looks. So when we do that, we just have to live with our circumstances. But they want to say, no, we need a handicap league. No, if you don't have the athleticism, be smart. Man. See, be the Einsteins that have moved humanity ahead. So we got out of the cave, off of the savannah, and into space. And by the way, look for this. I'm putting together some black big brain, some smart black folk that are NASA rockets and just and physicists who have minds. We're going to get them out. We're going to be touring. So what's in your head gets you in the bed. Mm. And stop being stupid. This is Bobby. You got Bobby on WFOOL. Do you mm. have a thug at home, honey? Tell Bobby if you got a thug at home. Yeah, Bobby, I got one at home. He looked just like Denzel, Bobby. He's so <laughs> fine. <laughs> no, he's selling all these drugs. He ought to be in jail. Do not approve of people poisoning the children, the women, and the community. That's not manly. So you act like a man. And a man is not a man because he looks like he's been pumping a lot of iron. It's right here. 
what he's got behind his rib cage, his heart. How much does he have going? How heavy are his cojones? His character. By the way, what's masculinity? Masculinity is a set of behavioral attributes that you put in a young male's mind. So he's got to make where he lives a better, safer, more secure place filled with economic prosperity, sense of purpose, sense of achievement, morality, ethics, intelligence, having a plan to do the right thing for the right reasons and being willing to sacrifice self for the right reasons. If you don't have that, it ain't working. Mm. What's your views on the Second Amendment? Thank goodness we have it. And anybody that's talking about getting rid of it, get rid of them. Mm. See, they want to say, we need to license it. Well, do you need a night license to exercise the First Amendment? Mm. No. Do you need a license to exercise the Fourth Amendment to be free from unreasonable searches and seizures? No. Do you need a license to exercise your Fifth Amendment rights? Be free from self-incrimination? No. Mm. Then why in the hell do you need a license to exercise the right that lets you inform other of your fellow citizens of what their rights are? It doesn't make sense. Now that I think By about it, are there any consti other constitutional rights that you um, need that, license not for? Not for that one. None of the rest of them are worth a damn. Now, let me wow. say this. Why are we bitching about the police killing black folk? Because <clears throat> the police we don't have the goddamn black. sense to be dedicated to this masculine proposition of making where we live a safe place. Hmm. Filled with economic prosperity. Sense of purpose, they call morality and ethics and we lack that so we have people who have stepped that want to claim that they are women because they have a first amendment right and some people with a lot more balls than they have stood up to defend so they could keep that right of freedom of speech and now people want to give it away because some punk feels uncomfortable he talked about my mama Slimy punk, <laughs> stand up and be a man. Bad. You ball this automaton, you creature. Mm, mm, mm. And that's what they're everybody trying to create world. ballless automatons. Yeah, see, everybody in the world has principles of masculinity, and that may bring us together because you can go to Asia. Middle East, Africa, Sahara, subtropical Asia, Asia, Pacific Rim, North America, Central America, South America. And every ethnicity and race has principles of humanity that are pretty uniform. So what we need to do is have a unification to push for and press manhood and bring us together. Like commies, Republicans, Democrats, monarchists came together to deal with the Zeke Heil bunch. Hmm. And see, these people are our enemies. For 20 years, the National German Socialist Workers Party had spit shine jack boots and they goose stepped around giving that straight arm salute. Hell, we've got little pink panty wearing Gestapo type switching and twitching. 
their form of fascism try to take these other rights away. What you see FDR, you see um, Joseph Stalin, you see Winston Churchill, and you see Charles de Gaulle, they all came to get, get rid of Adolf and Hitler, he told them. They got rid of him. They split apart. This is an opportunity to get together because I don't get it that a lot of people don't buy into this. She has a propaganda method to manipulate the statistics. So you give your opposition the impression that they aren't appealing to many people when they are, mm. that, that you are appealing to very few and you are appealing to the many because you're talking about manhood and that's a male thing that's a female thing that's a child thing that's manhood womanhood childhood and that's what we have to be about <clears throat> we got 2600 people in the chat right i mean in the room right now well i'm getting some that of the questions yeah, that's an example of what you're talking about, how people say, oh, you're not popular, but really you are. Like, that's <laughs> that's a lot of people in this room right now. Um, man, what's this? Kwame Brown and I were on a couple of weeks ago. Kwame we Brown, yeah, I want to get him on here too. <laughs> yeah, I got a surprise for everybody. You're going to love it when you see it. Okay, okay. Love it when you see it. Okay, that's what's up. It's that's time that black men led this rebellion against <laughs> these toy boys and these sick feminists. Let's go. Let's go. I'm with you. We have to make Bill Cosby the poster child for the reactive pushback against this hashtag Me Too nonsense that is allegedly driven by Gloria Allred and her daughter and their images are tainted because what they are allegedly doing is trying to propagandize women with a lie so they want to take the lie and act like it's act like it's truth it's not <laughs> excuse me hmm hmm yeah, I just actually saw an article about what's that uh damn woman's name. She had the uh she had a magazine. They said she was working with the CIA. Fucking white lady. Damn. See, their aim. And see, the rest of the world is with us on this. They know that these folks have used their propaganda engines to take over the intricate operational details of the U.S. government and are using the power of this mighty military nation to spread their pink panty wearing fascism. Now, there's nothing wrong with them doing what they do. But when they try to lie about it and bring it out of the bedroom and make everybody else feel that they're freaks for being normal, it's time for that shit to stop let them do what they want to do in their bedrooms, but the normal people are the norm. Do you right. know how bad it's gotten in America right now? 25 to 18, there are more boy virgins. There are girl virgins, 18 to 25. Really? Yeah, ain't that funny. There are more boys. 18 to 25 living at home with mama than girls are hmm. i'm in my 70s i cannot remember since 1970 there ever being a take your son to work week mm. and guess what only 44 percent of the american workforce is male mm. and 32 percent of the college undergrads are male Mm -hmm. That's 36% of 
of the grad students in America are male. What the hell is happening to the boys? And then in our community. And this is not just, this is not black male. This is just males, period. Males, yeah. That's why rap is stagnated for 35, going on 40 years. Mm. A lot of young males all over the planet don't have any satisfactory male images. So they need something. So we take black men and we show what is positive about masculinity in a negative fashion so they can get a destructive text of masculinity. Mm. And it does not work when it's a fake. We need it badly. And we're going to get it. And I'll tell you where it's going to come from. Oh, this nonsense about emasculating young boys. So that they talk stupid shit like, I want to be a girl. How old are you? I'm six. Hell, you haven't even got a heart on. How the hell are you going to know what you want to be when you don't know what your shit's supposed to be for? Do you see this whole Dwayne Wade and and his, and his son? That's and embarrassing. With, with, know, with Gabrielle started, Union co-signing it, and the and the birth mother does not want that for the child. He ought to be locked up for child abuse. <sighs> so here's the thing: my son wants to be a girl. Hell, he's only two and a half years old. Right. Hasn't even got a heart on for the first time. He doesn't know what his dick's for. He ain't ever met pussy, so how you gonna tell me that he knows what he wants to be? And then you turn to the boy. Boy, do you want a dick stuck up your butt? Huh? Well, that's what you talk about. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just talking about holding in. No, it means that his dick get up your butt and in your mouth. That's what they're talking about. Oh, mm. no. Well, ask your mom. Mm. While we're standing here listening. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. So what happens when this hits the fan? Right. Tell the truth about that shit. I mean, it's your right under the Constitution. You can punk out. But what happened to our right of free speech where we can call the punk a punk? Some gay folk, I'm sure, have manhood in them. They'll stand up when the time is needful. But a whole bunch of them won't. See, America used to be a place that even if you didn't agree with, you know, certain speech, that speech had the right to be said. That was what was supposed to make America so uh, special and stand out amongst other nations. This is the way they sold it. Um, but now, you know, with all this fucking technocrats and all this shit going on, um, that's not the case, man. No, it's not. You see, I is, heard him fly this dwindling every day. Every day. You know how long the National German Socialist Workers Party had worked on the Germans before they became zealous Nazis? How long? About 1920 to 1930. That's 19 years. Mm. You know how long they've been working on America? For 50 years. Mm. Probably longer, but 50 that we know about. Well, see, this is another thing we ought to understand. Nazi Germany came out of monarchical Germany. Germany did um, a unified country until 1876. So it was in 44 years in 1920 as a new country. But we had a country that got propagandized by this hate yourself, call it, got a dick thing from 1966 all the way up to 19. 98, 99, and it's still poison. 
You know, what's so funny is what I'm seeing today reminds me of a Nazi Germany. And I don't know if you know this, but a lot of those, um, like mostly all of those Nazis were sissy boys. You ever, you ever heard of a book called um, The Pink Swastika? Okay. Hitler, well, yeah. Goebbels, yeah. all of them were the sissy LH boys. The and their pool was coming from that uh, Hitler youth. From that 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 you know SS youth when they had those little boys in them little shorts. Hitler wrote a book called Mein Kampf, My Journey. They ought to have one called Mein Uberganger, My <laughs> Transition. Hmm. Right. They're trying to destroy masculinity. See, 50 years ago, toxic masculinity was nonsense, but now they want you to think it is. And if you go on your iPhone or Android and you've got spell trick and you put in anything, it's going to show rainbow and you will get toxic masculinity and a rainbow, but you get nothing about what happens if you say heterophobia? Excuse the hell out of me, but heterophobia has been in language for 300 something years and it stands for the absolute fear and phobia that gay folk had that straight folk would ostracize them, lock them up, put them in a cell, embarrass them, mutilate them, hurt them, discriminate against them. So they flipped the script. Mm. Homophobic. Hand is homophobic. Uptight. Self. No. We're not possessed of a, an acute phobia or fear of you folk. We just don't think the idea of a guy sucking another dick is it's cool. Too appetizing. <laughs> That's a little freak. Most of us, we go far enough. Some of a lot of us eat pussy, you know, damn. The two kinds of dudes that lie about eating pussy, those right. that do it, and those that <laughs> lie about not doing it. But, you know. Yeah, it, 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 man. They're trying to make the abnormal normal. Like, we, that's the agenda. Making the yeah, abnormal yeah. normal. College fuck. Not actually a college function. There was some college students there. And me and some of the old guard, we were looking at them. And we decided to mess with them. Like, what, man? Well, you know, that's just homophobia. What are you talking about? What, did he say? what the hell is homophobia? Say, don't they kind of suck other dudes' dick? <laughs> that's what I heard, man. Anybody here like sucking dick? Hell no. Which that's some strange shit, man. I guess if you want me to get your freak on, but don't nobody normal do that shit. Uh I guess they like those dildos, the rubberized uh kind that vibrate. <laughs> As they like them stuck up their ass and won't put them in their mouth and play make believe with it. Yep, I heard that too, man. I got two, three freak ladies, man, tell me this. All them gay boys, they like that shit. Yeah, I heard that too, man. I can't understand it. Like, why you want to put some shit in your mouth, man? That Listen. Women like that, they, they're freak on. I ain't going to lie. I, you know, talk about eating pussy, but the idea or what? No. Uh-uh. Do you like that, young man? What are you guys talking about? Well, ain't it obvious? First of all, I don't no, like the term phobia. Like, that's a medical term. You like that? Is that you? If I don't like mustard, that don't mean I have a mustard phobia. That just mean I don't fuck with mustard. I don't like it on my sandwich. I don't like the way it tastes. And I want something to ease out. I'll go take, uh, what is it you can take? x lax or... <laughs> you know, and you can take other shit. 
Yes. They just like it to, I don't know. They got some problems. <laughs> well, how well, wait. Want, I mean, think about this. They want these really strange folk who hate what they are and hate what they want to be to go around teaching three, four, five, six-year-old children that it's cool to get a dick up your ass. And the way to bring it on is to put on a dress and look like a burlesque show. No, oh, that doesn't sound too cool. And what's happening to these mothers? You used to see it all the time. Boy, you better take that woman's shoes off. Just don't wear women's shoes. You wear men's boots. Be ready for it. Just supposed to be so nice and effeminate. Oh, he was two when he said he wanted to be a girl. And get it, man. It ain't for the first time a race thing. It's black, white, brown, red, yellow. It's manhood. And these stupid idiots, because they hate themselves, have given us something to have as a mutual cause to unify around so we can push manhood, which is pretty damn consistent across all ethnicities. Mm. And we're not taking our chance. Another point I want to bring up, why you want to bad mouth the brothers? I'm not trying to bad mouth the brothers, but I'm just pointing out when somebody is doing wrong, you have to expose them so they don't get anybody killed. Hmm. Now, the truth of the matter is a whole lot of people with skin ain't qualified as kin. They'd rather get a white dick stuck up their butt and put their lips around it than to unify with real men. Hmm. And that ain't cool. So, we have to use that opportunity to level the field back for men so we can get some sanity out of this. Because right now we have a common enemy. It is those people that hate what they are and they hate what they want to be. Hmm. <clears throat> That's crazy. They hate what they are and hate what they want to be. And do you realize we are the experts on the planet with that? All up until the middle of the mid 60s, black folk were going around self hating with this hugely negative concept of self. We got the loving on ourselves. We start going, I'm black and I'm proud. Ungawa, black power, mm -hmm. power to the people. And these folk want to go around jamming up black power or manly power because they don't understand it causes in the way. And you got these Charlize Theron types. Oh, she's got a right as a foreign national to come here and bring some boys to pervert. Mm. Black oh, he boys. Be a girl. Yeah, he wanted to be a girl. So I felt it my obligation to help him turn himself out. That's kind of child abuse. What's wrong with you, lady? Mm. And he lost it all. I think something's wrong with you. But then again, you can't even talk about him, remember? No First Amendment. Because they'll be feeling uncomfortable. He made me feel challenged. And poor Lizzo with her lizard hippo fat ass <laughs> is being made to feel shame. <laughs> They're the kind of shaming me. Yes. Well, excuse the hell out of me. We and it's just talk fucking about shame. You. Hey, man, I don't want to say nothing about your mama, man, but, you know, mama's so fat and goddamn ugly, man, she can't get in the bathtub with two splashes of water. <laughs> It can't wash your funky ass over. That's why she stinks so bad. And by the way, she smells so bad 
that I put on one of these masks, you know, one of them N5 masks. <laughs> I can come over and screw your mama. Please don't tell your daddy he been working hard to feed you and me. And, you know, two of my baby brothers, you don't know my baby brothers because I've been fucking your mama, man. Oh, shit. He talked about my mama. He said she fat and stanky. Oh, hell, I can smell her ass from 10 feet away. I guess that qualifies as don't it? He said, oh, hell, look greasy as hell like she ain't bath in a long time. <laughs> That's why you so funky, young brother. Nobody taught you to take a bath. Damn, dude. Wash your nasty ass. Mm. I want to be like my stanky mama. Did you hear that uh, the president of Haiti got assassinated today? You heard about that? Have you heard reasons? I've heard little things going around, you know, but but of course. There's some stuff going out there in the scuttle, but way down deep that he was inviting too many of the folk from San Francisco to Haiti to come play with the young boys. A lot of people didn't like that. Mm. It's a man thing. Mm. See that thing they did for June? They put that rainbow flag under the American flag on the same flagpole and the rainbow flag was bigger than the American flag and all of these other nationals got all worked up about the fact that they will put a bigger rainbow flag to push this corruption, put it on display in their countries than anything else. Hmm. Maybe that's what was getting people angry. You know, a lot of people take manhood seriously, but America doesn't. At all. You go down to the Caribbean mine. You go through the Jamaica mine. You go through the Bahamas. People get killed all the time, man, because they be into this perversion, man. They don't understand. Hey, it ain't out of my When you go around playing girl, man, something be wrong with you. Mm -hmm. The body boy so, business. Well, no, yeah, see, why don't they tell the truth about it? See, the big lie. The Nazis found that out 80 years ago. Tell a lie long enough, loud enough, you can get anybody to believe it. And thus, propaganda, as we know it, was born. And you know what? absolute enemy of the propagandistic lie is the truth. Facts. And that's why they need to silence truth. Yeah. Now, let me tell you the shit I remember in my head. Some sick shit. Back in the 40s, Walt Disney did a movie and they put it on Disney they made a movie, Uncle Ramus, and the humans were real live characters, and the star was Uncle Ramus, a buck dancing damn fool slave. Mm. And a white guy wrote it down in Atlanta in the 1870s, and the plot line was this Negro was upset because the Union Army had freed him from slavery. So mm. now he had to work and he couldn't be free to go bug dance with a bad show in a harmonica while he was scampering around with Burr Bear and Burr Rabbit, Burr Turtle, and all this other bullshit. And he had to work, so he was mad at the Union Army for causing him to have to work instead of having a free and easy time where he could dance 
and get mad at the Union Army because they freed him from Massa's yoke. Mm, mm, mm. And Walt Disney did it. They had a black male playing off the rings. And they had Burr Rabbit, Burr Bear, and all this cast of sorry ass slave servants. Looks much like the Black Caucus these days, the way they portray it. <laughs> yeah, you get these surrogates for slaves who did not like the fact that they were free and had to support themselves. We had to learn this, and it's popped up a lot of times in the intervening 60 something years. Zippy do do die, zippy do day. My, oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine heading my way. Zippy do do die, zippy do day. <laughs> Buck dancing, am fool, slave, Negro. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have to do anything except change the character line. And that could stand for all these holidays they give us. See, we got told when I learned propaganda 55 years ago, what you do is you glorify something that is embarrassing. Mm. You make an untruth the truth. So you make it a negative for a black man to go work to support himself. Mm. Zippity do die. Zippity day. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Mm. Somebody go get a baseball bat and beat this nigger here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man put his ass in the actor's hall of shame and, and 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 i was just thinking like who was the actor that played this and it doesn't matter they, because they always find a nigga to play like there's always going to be that nigga that be i do it Fuck which that. one of these niggas want to be the buck dancing uncle remus type yeah you can make Show a lot of money you pay your extra three percent on your paycheck Osmos, Osmos. Wow. And then the screaming, funky ass excuse. Just some black female actresses want to put out there about why they took some of these scumbag hope. They can't make you take them. And the truth of the matter is, is the actresses that don't take them wind up making more than the ones that do. Mm. So what are you? You just a hoe. <sighs> just a hoe. That's all it is. See, and let me tell you something. 45, 46, 44 years ago, 40 years ago, I represented a whole lot of pimps and hoes in Memphis. Mm. It ain't cool. And there's something about a hoe. And by the way, pimps can't turn no woman into a hoe. They get turned into hoes by their priests, their mama's boyfriends, the fools that are running around trying to game and hustle. See, yeah, there are a lot of innocent brothers in the penitentiary, but most of them are not in there for robbing the rich and giving to the poor. Hmm. They're in there for murdering, poisoning, raping their own neighbors, sisters, aunts, grandmama, mamas, and all that. And by the way, we had this big thing against Aunt Jemima. Do you know my, why my generation of old folk didn't have a problem with Aunt Jemima? I used to love Aunt Jemima when I was a kid. You know why we didn't have a problem? Why? Because the real Aunt Jemima invented the pancake mix, and she was one of the first black millionaires in the U.S. Mm. So now 
You listen to dumbasses talk all this negative imagery. Ain't nobody black who knew what time it was had a negative image because it was a real black woman who became one of the first black millionaires in America. She was advertising her own product. Now a family is trying to sue the pet company because they lost all that money because some ignorant, do-good Negroes in their ignorance got upset that black folk nowadays who didn't know dog squat shit. Well, they was mad that Aunt Jemima had a had a had a woman getting some credits for what her ancestors did. Right. Well, Aunt Jemima had the scarf on her head. Remember, she used to have a scarf. So they was they was thinking, oh, she looked too much like the slave. So then they gave Aunt Jemima a perm. Remember that? Yeah, remember that. Now, with that scarf around the head. Mm hmm. Remember the little sitcom game show thing where they had the black woman, this one was a pretty one, wearing that same Aunt Jemima bag with the knot in front. Now, granted, she was sleek and fine, but that was okay. Because mm. she doing what she did. And see, black women don't need to get out there and be these negative role models for young black girls going out there acting like bitches and hoes. Where is your character? See, if your people perpetrate the pimping and the hoeing, that's on you. Hmm. So we got righteous in our ignorance and they took off and now one black family no longer has the stipend they've had for a hundred years for a product that's still being sold. Right. And your dumb ass is running around. And you got Lizzo, Lizzo, who's supposed to be flashing her bare ass with some dental floss up off grease down hip old butt cheeks. <laughs> my, my. And you turn right around and a few years ago, were well, bitching and hollering because Janet flashed a centimeter, a small a part of a centimeter of some titty nipple that had this mm -hmm. big star sunburst pinned through it. Oh my, how horrible. <laughs> yeah. And now they got, they, now they got this little boy kissing his fucking a dude on the stage. I know you heard about that nonsense. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. And they put it on. And Juneteenth, June month, they've already co-opted Juneteenth as a gay holiday. Mm. Have you seen the shit they had on toward the end of the month? We welcome the Juneteenth people to the holiday of gay pride. I know every I know last month, damn near every channel had that goddamn rainbow in the corner, you know. And it's and did subliminally you see the shit that you get on Twitter. It is a black pride. Right. You get the black rainbow fist. Mm, mm, mm. Now see, like, you, man, like, they they it's psychologically. Don't you have any pride and respect? I mean, it's their thing. More power to them. But why are you helping? You ain't getting shit out of it. Like, 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 how do you feel, Judge? You're, you're into syndication, right? Well, I was. Okay, well, when, let's say when, let's say if they were playing um, your show now, right? Playing reruns or whatever the case may be. And all of a sudden, it's Pride Month. Your show is on. And in the corner, the logo of the parent company got this rainbow thing over your damn, over your show. Almost well, they tried to do it. Guess psychologically it making it seem like you co-signed to that. You Let see? me tell you what these low-down bastards are doing. Hmm. J -J -B 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 
Judge Joe Brown barbecue. Uh, I'm putting out a line of barbecue seasonings, sauces, OG, regular, and hot. Hot's real good. Mm. And some cookers. The near meat chicken links, which are done for us by the only FDA licensed meat packing outfit in California. And guess what these bastards have done on Instagram? These low down dogs have put poison into their Instagram system. So they will foul you up. You'll get your money back and get your product. But they fixed it up so it goes to one of these LGBTQ rainbow fakes so mm. they can get your money in their account and earn interest on it for a few days. Mm. We're trying to get to the bottom because I want to send somebody to want it. It's federal penitentiaries where he can get what he wants. But see, that's how low down it. Oh, they have no rules for them. Mm. But my God, don't I'm feel uncomfy. Bad, 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 bad. That's crazy. See, they're wrong. But I'm putting it out there. So I'm telling you, try Facebook right now or Twitter or just go online. You don't need to do it through Instagram. That's some poison shit. Just go online. JJBBBQ.com. Get the real deal. Ain't nobody going to go in and do that bullshit. There you go. You heard it right here. Now, see, they tried them. And somebody, why didn't you just push it? I said, because I'm letting them break out with the lying sh- scoundrel cells. Mm. So we can identify them. And we do intend to go prosecute where there is just cause and mm. probable cause. And we can put some of them in jail where they would probably love, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh my, wow, we whoopee. I don't even have to go out on the yard. I can get all my exercise on the cell block. Mm. See, they're wrong. And they want to flip the script and say something's wrong with you for trying to be straight. They try to put a fake at you. Well, well, we got to stay strong. (laughs) The ones that know got to stay strong and we got to be, you know, they got to be that example for manhood, you know? Yeah, I know. And sometimes men have to do what men have to do, which is exposed wrong and evil. There you go. Now, if anybody's got any more questions, my throat's giving out. Oh, yeah, no. You've definitely been more than gracious with your time. (laughs) So we can continue to agitate. And push righteousness to the people. Yeah, we were, we were about to let you go anyway. We you've been more than with your time. Closing, what you do, your bedroom is your goddamn business. Get your freak on. That's your right. Mm-hmm. But don't expect the rest of us to be punks and be quiet by you run bullshit. Yeah, when you start jacking us around, that's a lot more of us than there are of you. And if you believe you're something that you're not, don't try to make me play along with the shit. You see, like yeah. that's some shit you believe. If you believe that you're a dog, don't think that I'm supposed to pet you. You see, I don't believe that you're a dog. I'm I not going to treat you like a dog. They get the wagon that tell boss, boss, can you scratch me behind it? No. Over here. Come on, no. boss. No. I cannot roll. do that. Oh, that feels so good, boss. <laughs> oh, you're so good to me. Come on. All right. All oh, boss. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. No. I'm not playing along. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just not playing along. That's your fantasy. You live that. 
If you got people that want to play along with that, don't try to force me into fucking going along with that shit. The last year I taped for CBS, they lied to you talking about they wanted to cut my pay for low ratings. It's all relative. CBS was sending stockholders newsletter to their shareholders. And if they lied to the shareholders, they could have gotten a 10 year sentence in a federal penitentiary. Mm. And the truth of the matter was, is the CBS shareholders were being told that I was either the number one or number two show for CBS syndication. Mm -hmm. I was beating Oprah every week. Mm -hmm. I was beating Dr. Phil every day of the week. Only one I higher than you, for Judge days Judy. Out of the week, I was beating Judy, but they kept mm. changing her ratings to keep her ahead and kept changing my rating schedule to keep me below. Mm. Plus, they did not want a straight black man to be number one. Mm. Now, they kept trying to slip that bullshit in there. And I say, hell no, I ain't doing it. So I never did one of those gay rights things. Uh -uh. I say, fire me if you want. But, you know, I've retired now. Wait, so they so they actively were trying to push certain gay narratives on the yeah, show. I said, ain't doing it. Wow. You do it. My people have some problems that I want to address. That ain't one of them. Mm. You can push mm. that all you want. I'll defend your right to do it. But I also have rights. And I'll be goddamn if I'm going to push that shit before I push the rights of my people. Good luck. And by the way, when I'm out of here, your ass is losing your gig within six weeks. And they did. Mm. And they're gone. Yo, this has been epic, brother. This has been epic. Thank you so much. I hope, uh, you know, maybe you could come back sometime in the future. We'd love to have you. Um, you're well, brother, that's what old men do. We protect womanhood. We always do that. Mm -hmm. And when we are protecting womanhood, we're also promoting manhood. And we got to do that so we, our brothers can stay up there with the torches in hand saying, it's our job to make this better. We are the torch bearers. We are out front. We have to make it a better a for more secure place for our people we can't get away with it. and it ain't our job it is our job we have to go out there and kill off the fire breathing Gila monsters that are setting flames to all of the debris and trash in the tunnel so we get our people through the tunnel to the daylight at the end of it. that's what we do so, young brother, keep on with it. And you're going to hear some very interesting stuff in a few weeks that's going to surprise the hell out of a whole lot of colored folk that need to listen carefully so they become righteous black folk. Well, we're going to be looking forward. We love righteous black folk I'm here. Thank here. you. Ladies and gentlemen, Judge Joe Brown. Thank you, King. All right. Cousin Rob Bell came through. Um, man, that was some good shit. Listen, the judge had some hiccups. Stop acting like uh, y'all know what he was doing. Y'all don't know what the fuck he was doing. And even if he was uh, having a little drinky drink, he he's dropping that science, okay? He dropped that heat for y'all motherfuckers, okay? Um... Oh, but yeah, man, that was great. Dr. Ma'at, you the shit. Thank you, sister. Thank you. We love you. Shout out to everybody who donated during the show. I really didn't want to uh, step on um, the elders' feet or toes or any kind of thing like that, so I didn't shout nobody out while he was speaking. Uh, if you notice, I didn't even light up no L and shit while he was here. You know what I mean? Because I got respect for my elders. Okay? That's how I was brought up. Um, so, yeah. And he might be cool with the shit or whatever, but I didn't feel like smoking around Judge Joe. 
Okay? But now we're going to light this motherfucker up right now. Mm-hmm. So listen, I appreciate y'all coming through. Oh, do y'all peep the camouflage? Camouflage Nubian hat? Yeah. I know. You know where to get that. Hang on, let me put the link on the screen. Let me put the link on the motherfucking. There we go. Boom. Godcast gear. Brand Nubian gear. Go to www.hoodg.com and get yours today. Um, Listen, I'm about to be out. That was a great one, man. Y'all really showed up. Fucking, what, 3,600 people in the fucking uh, shit right now? Or, or at the peak of this shit? That was great. That was a lot. I'm trying to remember who had, where we had a bigger live. Who had the biggest numbers? That probably was one of them. Um, but listen, I appreciate y'all. Um, if you haven't already, click that like button. Uh, if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, click the notification bell. Click all. So hopefully you'll get notifications. You know the type of shit we be talking on here. You know, they be trying to shadow ban the niggas. So sometimes... Uh, you won't get the notification, but um, as a general rule of thumb, I usually go, I try to go live at least on Wednesday or Thursday, about 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you don't get a notification and it's Wednesday or Thursday, um, just check in. You know what I mean? And it's around eight o'clock. Just check in because we might be live doing some live shit and they try to, you know what I mean? They try to front on you and shit and, and not send you what you needed to be sending. Um, but that being said, about to be out, kick it with the guard. Um, appreciate y'all once again for the not a mean God cast Lord Jamal live. I am he, Lord Jamal. Shout out to my partners, Rod Digger, Godfrey. Shout out to Artie Stacks, Big Stu, Greg Abraham, and we out.